company support. I would be frank over here. Before coming to Germany, I was having a lot of doubt. I, know, uh, I heard a lot about that the German working culture is very much strict. It was totally drastically different from what in India we used to see. In India, we have uh, cultural activities, sports activities going on, some dinners and lunches going on. But on the other hand, in the Germany, it was told that uh, it's just work, it's just work, nothing else. No parties, no outings, no act, no sports meet or cultural activities, nothing like that. So I was a bit, um, yeah, sort of nervous there. And to my contrary, yes, the sport activities and the cultural activities are not there, but still the team is very much welcoming and the manager was, my team manager was really uh, supportive and they know whenever I needed support from them. Say for example, my child is not feeling well. At that time they were there, they were pretty much okay if I say that I have to take a half day or I have to stay at home. Uh, can I work from home? So all those adjustments with uh, work and uh, with my personal life, they were ready to support me over there. It really helped me a lot. Second point is that you have um, six months probation period in Germany. That means they give enough time for you to settle down in a different city or different country. And uh, yeah, they give enough time so that you can prove yourself that whatever you promise in the interview, you actually can deliver. So it, it's re it really helped me a lot of pressure out of my head. That yes, it's just not I have to prove it in three months. I have six months duration to prove myself. And in three months, they had this uh, realignment uh, meeting that we can uh, check with the manager that whatever it, activities I'm doing, whether it is as per your expectations or not, or anything need to be changed or yeah, added, we can discuss at that time. So this gives you a lot of time to adjust in a different country, get settled down, and then focus on the work. Last point is the work council that in Germany you have work council in all the organization and they really support the employees. It's a platform where all employees can go and talk about their concerns if they have some problem in, in the company or I think in the personal level also maybe they can help. But mainly it is professionally, if you have some problem uh, with the management or with other team or some colleagues or something, you can always go over there and they will support you. So all these pro-employee policies which I feel is really great in Germany. Two big learnings that I had was uh, that I have to speak up. I have to speak up whenever uh, there is some problem in my personal life and I need some support from my team. I have to speak up. If there is some concern in uh, my work that I can't take uh, a lot of work and uh, I have some other priorities coming up from the work itself, then also speak up. If you think that you don't know uh, this particular thing and you need some support, speak up. There is no bad thing. The main thing that over here, or I think in general in India also I felt the same thing, that if you are able to judge yourself, that yes, I need uh, some assistance in this particular uh, area. I'm not good at it. I done my research, but I need some guidance. It's not good to use up all the task uh, time and then at the end tell, oh, I tried my best, but it didn't happen. But identify it in the middle or in the early phase and talk to your manager, talk to your colleagues, seek for help that would be really helpful for them also because at the end everyone wants you to do the job complete they are okay to support you make you learn fast but it's not okay to uh, waste all the time in just research work when you know from the beginning that you are not able to find the correct solution till the end so speak up whenever you need help in professional personal life speak up speak up to with whosoever you feel uh, confident to or if you don't feel confident to anybody as of now speak up at least to your team manager he will definitely find a solution and help you 
second uh, advice, uh, piece of advice from my side would be to stay calm. That because it's a different country, it's it could be a different city also, it's a different company and uh, you are trying to settle down here and uh, your child is uh, constantly ill and you have a lot of pressure on your mind. There is a constant uh, section of your mind which will be with your child always because you don't have that parent support, remember? <laughs> so your mind will not be at peace always. You will be keeping a, a, a peace of mind with your child. So those things will be happening and meanwhile some part of your brain would be thinking about your uh, uh, you know, activity that you have to just go and do at home just on that particular day. Then some part of your brain would be at work. Then if you have so many things going on in your brain, I don't think so you'll be able to focus so good that you can deliver to your best capability. So I would say calm down wherever you are, stay present over there, do your job best and then go in a, you know, go to your house Take some deep breath. I will tell you how I, I used to you know, stay calm and how I used to manage over there when I was going to the office physically. Right now we are working from home all the time. So I will share with you how I managed over there that whenever I'm in office, I really shut down everything that I am just a function safety manager at that time nothing else i don't think about uh, home uh, responsibility i don't try not to think about my child try not to think about this is very difficult part being a mom you will always have some part always thinking about your child so i try not to think so much about my child at that time and just focus objectively on my work so that I can give my 100%, which, which actually gives me satisfaction in terms of professional career also, that yes, I did my uh, justice to my work. 